Right, welcome everyone. Welcome to the formal section. Uh, this is group four and we are in session two. And um, first thing I asked you to do for the session was to do the test. The test was available in both the WhatsApp group and in the Zoom chat. So I'm hoping that you have clicked and gone through and have demonstrated to me that you did your homework. All right. Um, it wasn't rocket science, the homework last night. Um, we wanted you to become familiar with open educational resources. What are they? What are the potential benefits? And we also wanted you to be introduced to Creative Commons licensing. All right. We needed you to understand what are the rights that you can reserve if you use an open license, right? So the fact that it's an open license doesn't mean that we're just giving it your resource away. You still retain the, uh, the ownership of it and you can reserve specific rights. So that's what the test was about. We wanted to see to what extent you were in control of using Creative Commons licenses. And the reason why we need you to be able to do this is all the other pieces uh, require you to be familiar and comfortable with uh, Creative Commons licenses. And in fact, on Thursday, you are going to generate your own Creative Commons license for your OER. So you need to be able to choose appropriately. You've got to know what you're choosing. All right, let's have a look at the test. So I'm hoping you can see on the screen at the moment um, the, uh, the a summary. We, uh, in the end, we had 25 of you um, having a go at the test. And if we have a look at the players, we can congratulate um, Taru, PT, Scrolls, P. Diddy, and Dark Toad. All right. Well done, guys. You got really, really great scores, really high. Dark Toad wins with 8,923 points. Uh, keep in mind that Kahoot, which is what you're looking at now, uh, gives you extra points for answering quickly. So the quicker you answer the questions, the more points each question is worth. All right. So that's why Dark Toad takes the at the moment. Unless someone is still working on the test at the moment, um, uh, trumps you in the next few minutes, it looks like you're our winner. So well done. All right, let's have a look at the questions. And this first question caused a bit of consternation. All right, so when you see this little man in a circle, what does the right that's being reserved mean? All right, and that little man is attribution. We sometimes call it by. CC by, but it means by who? By uh, who must we attribute? Who must we give acknowledgement to? So that's what that one was. And 16 of you got that correct. And there was a sprinkling of incorrect answers, including some no answers, which is a bit worrying. Uh, the second one was when you see this equal sign inside the circle, what does that mean? All right. And the uh, 11 of you got it right. Um, it says the when you see that you cannot change the resource. It's called no derivatives in D, right? It simply means you've got to use the resource as is. So when you see the ND, then uh, or the little equal sign, it basically means you can't change it. You cannot you cannot adapt it. You have to use it as is. Uh, and as I say, eleven of you got that correct. The third one was when you see this little C that goes backwards or the little arrow that goes to the left instead of to the right, then uh, what does that mean? And um, 10 of you got that correct. Use the same license as the original resource. We call this one share alike, SA. And it simply means that if you were to use it, you can create new derivatives. You can change it. But then your new version, your new derivative must have exactly the same license. All right, so we call that share of luck. All right, so keep that one in mind. Uh, 10 of you got it correct. Then we asked you, you can't really see the question. Let me get the picture up in a minute. This is the problem with this one is it shows you a, a truncated version of it. All right, but the question was, which of these six um, combinations of the various Creative Commons rights uh, is the most open. And by that, we mean the least restrictive. All right. So when we talk of open licensing, it means that some can be more open than others. 
All right, so keep that in mind then. They're not all the same. So um, in this instance, we asked you of those six, which are the most common combinations, which is the most, the most open, and 12 of you got that right. All right, CC by. CC, when you see CC by as a designer, you go, yay, because that means you can more or less do what you like with it as long as you attribute um, where the resource came from, all right? So either in your citations, your bibliography, your reference section or whatever, you must say um, where the original resource came from. So that's not asking for a lot, is it? We're supposed to do that anyway <clears throat> in terms of our bibliographies, etc. But then we asked you which licenses do not allow repurposing, all right? And the correct answer was E and F. You can't see so clearly here, but you you can't see that one there. But when you looked at it originally, they had two of those equal signs, right? Does not allow repurposing, does not allow adaptations, does not allow you to change. So therefore you don't want the no derivatives, the ND. All right, so there were two here, E and F, 11 of you got that correct. Uh, which licenses prohibit use in a fully copyrighted works? Now, this is kind of a, a bit bizarre, but if you have created an open license, not all of them force other people to use open licenses. You can take the resource and stick it into a fully copyrighted work. For example, a textbook. So say for a, let's give you an example. An, an example. So say, for example, you've created an OER and then you have um, um, chosen your licenses, but it does allow adaptation and it does allow you to transfer it to other licenses. Then um, what will happen is uh, it could get incorporated into a textbook, right? If someone else could say, as long as I attribute where it comes from in my references, then I can use it in my textbook. All right. So um, the correct answer was B and D. So um, uh, it's the ones that have share alike. So it's that one and that one. You can just see it. Sorry, my the little pictures here is not great because you can't see the whole thing. But it's B and D. They both have SA. So if it has share alike, you have to use the same license. So you couldn't then put it into a fully copyrighted work. Um, seven of you got that right, but it's interesting. Eight of you didn't even answer that particular question. So correct answers, only 28%. So that was quite a poorly answered question. Maybe the question's too ambiguous. Maybe it's my fault rather than yours. Okay, so keep that in mind. And then you, again, you can't see the, uh, the full graphic. The graphic's been chopped off. But uh, in the test, you could. And in the test, it was by NCSA. All right. Um, so what are you allowed to do with that? Can you use without asking per for uh, without asking permission? Yes, you can. All right. So seven of you got that right. Can you adapt for your classes and students? Yes, you can. So if you're using MIT resources, that's quite nice. You don't have to ask for permission and you can fix them so that they work for Zimbabwe context rather than um, an American or Boston. I think they're in Boston. Um, uh, context. Um, and it's good to see uh, you didn't get swayed by these other things here, except a few people didn't answer. Uh, nearly there. True or false. When you create a piece of work, like a PowerPoint for your history class, or maybe it's a chart for your science class or whatever, whatever. Uh, when you create a piece of work, it is automatically copyrighted with an open license. Is this true? Or is this false? And the reality is it's false, all right? No, if you want an open license on your resource, you have to put it on. It doesn't end up there by default, all right? So to be honest, the opposite is true. If you don't put anything on your resource, then most copyright laws say that it is by default full copyright all rights reserved. All right. So then that means uh, you've locked it away by not putting an open license on it. No one else can do anything but look at it. All right. So cool. Uh, 15 of you are quite savvy on that. That looks great. And then there was a few trick questions, right? For this one, for example, uh, Creative Commons Zero. Uh, it's the same as what? It's equivalent to, and I can see, 
um, 12 of you did not get um, uh, waylaid. You got it right. Public domain. Zero simply means zero rights reserved, which is the same as public domain. You've basically given it away. All right. Um, so these other ones then were distractors. Um, uh, so I'm glad you, most of you ignored that. And then here was the real trick question. Um, which, what Creative Commons writers reserved with this symbol? All right, so we gave you a strange why. Why? With some little hashes through it. Okay, so what is that? Uh, and again, this group's strong. So you guys didn't get... Uh, uh, taken by surprise, you worked it out. That's a yen, and yen is a currency, and currency is money. So therefore, that must be non-commercial. So 15 of you thought it through, got it right. A little smattering of people who got, um, who just guessed, I assume. <laughs> All right, so um, that didn't uh, cause too much trouble. All right, so nicely done. This group is a strong group. I'm very chuffed with that. Uh, of the 25 players, there's the uh, leaders. So well done to these people here. You um, uh, topped out the top 10. Uh, very nice. Okay. Um, some of you might be saying, oh, so what is this little tool that, that Andrew is using? Could I not use something like this in my remote teaching? Okay, and the answer is yes. So... If you want to create your own test for your own class, there is a free version. It's called kahoot.com. And you can come here, you can create a little account, and um, then you can log in. And um, it, it creates these little multiple choice type questions. Here's my page uh, with all my little tests that I use from time to time, um, like this. And the nice thing is it generates uh, some feedback. It's um, If you do the, I chose the one where you could just do it in your own time, but you can do one where you run, uh, the teacher runs it from the front and then people have to keep up with you. And then it's quite fun. It's a little bit like a race. So it's good fun. Um, if you would like to have your own account, yeah, go to kahoot.com, create a free account. And as I say, you can pay for, some of the more uh, advanced functionality. But for my purposes, I find the free one is quite sufficient for what I need to do. Um, yeah, so if you're stuck in these remote, oh, my battery's going. If you're stuck in these remote uh, situations, then sometimes you can do your testing using, um, using Kahoot. All right, uh, let me just see if I've got my, I don't even know where it is. Tough. All right. Um, I'm going to just turn my cam off for today so you don't have to put up with it. There we go. All right. Um, so uh, any queries or questions about the test, the Creative Commons licensing? Can you put up your hand if you've got any queries or questions um, or about the technology, the little Kahoot app? Um, any queries, questions? Let me have a look at the chat. Sorry, I've got my. How do we create something like Kahoot? It's interesting. All right. So let me just go, go over that again. So you go to kahoot.it and then you, you get a page like this and then you say create. Uh, I'm hoping you can see my screen. Go create and it says create what? And it gives you some templates. But uh, generally, I don't even use templates. I tend to go with create. And then you can say, um, what does CC by SA? All right. So if you're doing, um, you ask a question. If you want, you can add in some pictures. So I can go to my image library. I can go to, I want to upload, sorry, mistake, close. I can go add media, upload, All right? And I can go to my own um, pictures. Uh, it is sitting in here. TC by SA. There it is. Puts it in there. And then you can put in some uh, options here. Another option there. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So it's as simple as that. All right. And that's your question done. It wants to know which is the correct answer. 
I can say that one is the correct answer. Then you move on to your next question, add another question. And you can see you've got some options here. Quiz, the ones that you were doing for me and the true and false are free. Um, but if you want to go for these other more fancy uh, type questions, then they want you to subscribe. All right. So it's up to you. If, you've, if you feel you can use this enough to justify the subscription, go for it. But in, for my purposes, the quiz and the true and false are more than enough. All right. I'm just going to say done. Uh, I'm going to cancel this whole thing. Uh, I don't really want to keep that. All right. I hope that answered the question. Let's see what else we got in here. 269985 says, sure, needs to learn and use it too. It's lovely. It's easy and it's free. It's cool. Still a bit behind on the symbols. Okay, Itai. So remember, there are really only four symbols. Let me just get them up on the screen for you. So these are your, your symbols. All right. The little man is by its attribution it just means you can do whatever you like but you must acknowledge who is the creator or the owner of the resource sa is share alike and it means that uh, if people were to take the open resource six say for example you did something on the digestive system for the curriculum and then you had a powerpoint then and you had sa as one of your symbols it simply means that the, whoever takes your resource must share it in the same way. They must use the same license, share alike. No derivatives is easy. Derivatives means versions. Okay, so you may not create a version of the resource. You have to use the resource as it appears. All right, you can't change it. And NC simply means non-commercial. You can do whatever you like with the resource, but you may not make a profit from it, okay? You have to, um, the IP is free and you may not make any profit from using the IP. Okay, so Ita, I hope that answers your question. Any other queries, any hands uh, in the chat? No, cool. In the WhatsApp? No, cool. All right. So then I'm hoping uh, tutorial one is now put to bed that you have been through it, that you've done a little test, that you feel more comfortable with the different licenses, because in this next section, you are going to need to use those licenses to find OERs. All right. So if I go to our uh, website, remember I told you um, everything's on this one page. All right, so everything you could possibly need um, in this module 2B is on this page here. I've put one in the uh, WhatsApp and I've put one in the Zoom chat. So uh, keep that a link handy if ever you need to find a tutorial, if you ever need to find out what the assignment is, if you ever need to find the evaluation form, blah, 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 blah. Then it's all on that one page. All right, so keep that in mind. That's very cool. However, tonight's homework is the second tutorial this one here tutorial number two finding oer for teaching and learning so i'm going to put that in the link as well so that you can't say you don't know where to go tonight it's there and it's there all right so um so what are we doing uh, tonight so now that you know your licenses and you know you know uh, good reasons why you would want to use OERs, um, how do you find them? So the big problem with OERs is that there's no one place to go, all right? Um, so how might you search for them and how might you find them? So the little tutorial number two shows you all a whole host of little tips and tricks in order to go forward and find them. All right, so on the screen then, I'll just quickly show you a little overview. So first of all, um, we want you to search according to your very own curriculum. Okay, we're trying to encourage you not just to search for mathematics because that's too broad. We want you to get right deep down and very specific. So can you find your, your curriculum document and have a look? What is the terminology that they use which would help you find resources linked to the curriculum? So if I scroll down here um, say for example that you are searching 
for to teach energy and power within the geography form one to four syllabus all right then if you have a look at this grid here you can see there's lots and lots of terminology special words etc which you can use to find the correct look at this word here non-renewables coal petroleum natural gas energy uh, nuclear energy so that's much better than searching for energy and power and is vastly better than searching for geography so you're not going to search for these very high level words you're going to search for very specific words all right uh, and then we have a very quick look at how to use google we all use google to find stuff normally so now how do you customize how do you set up Google so that you find only open resources? And there's a little video in here. Okay. Explains how to do it. Search terms. Blah, 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 I'm blah. Continue the search. All right. So it uh, tells you how to do that. And then there's a little, uh, little exercise. And then it also shows you how to find pictures. So say, for example, you want to find uh, some pictures to go into your PowerPoint or your thing. So how do you do that? and the tutorial will show you how that's done all right so i'm not doing it now you're going to do it tonight there's a little activity to see if you can actually do that all right so um uh, that's google then we're going to look for things that are not pictures or text so how do you find music for example say you want to have a little music in the background there you know how how quick lawyers are to sue people for stealing music all right so how do you find creative commons or open music all right so there's a little um tutorial on how to do it and then a little exercise to see if you can find this piece of music not everyone's taste all right um okay so please have a look at that tonight and then what happens if you already know that uh the resource is a video for example then how do you find resources which um are on youtube so we'll show you also how to find specific resources that uh are open and they will allow you to adapt them to change them to download them to distribute them blah 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 all right so that's the other one and then i want you to have a look be, uh, before i meet you tomorrow at, at one particular site there's all these nice ones here you must have a look but this is the one which is very good for primary and secondary education so if you're a primary or secondary education teacher um, and you've got a syllabus that you're following um where can it where could you start to look for OER. So yeah, you can use Google and you can use Creative Commons and you can use YouTube. They're all very useful. But then you could also just try this site here, OER Commons. It's a little American, but very nice resources and they're all open educational resources. So I want you to do that tonight, please. Um, and cool, blah, 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 blah. All right. So um, that is tutorial number two. All right, you've got the links now in the WhatsApp and you've got the links in the Zoom. Uh, let's have a look, what has other people written here? Please, can you provide us with this tutorial in the form of a PDF? Easy enough, here it comes. I'm gonna stick it in the WhatsApp. Yeah, give me a second, will I find it? Uh, not that one. Uh, sorry give me a second i've got the wrong folder it is here right this one as a pdf it of course a pdf is nowhere near as as cool as but i've put it in the whatsapp let me i don't know if i can put it in the can i yeah i can oh yeah here he goes all right so i've loaded it into the whatsapp and I've loaded it into the Zoom. Take your pick. It is 23 megs. It's a PDF. The links still work. So you can still click on the links and go through and have a look at the resources elsewhere on the web. But if you find that the tutorials are just too much for your phone, although they're designed for phones, um, then you can use this PDF. All right. Let's see what else have we got in the chat. The sound on my side is not so good. All right, so pardon, I'm afraid you're gonna to have to sort that out. That's the issue on your side. So it's 
either it's either your connectivity is just not giving you a good quality sound or it could be your speakers or your headset or your earplugs all right so uh, you're gonna have to sort that out all right that's that's on your end not our end any other queries or questions Let's have a look are there any hands up no that looks good the uh the the pdf in the chat is still going up give it a second it's nearly there it looks like the one in the um in the whatsapp is already up okay and i'm just checking any other queries questions please post either in the chat or in the whatsapp i've got both open all right yes the uh, in the chat the uh, tutorial number two is up can we submit what we made by kahoot as our oer good question if i go here what how can i distribute my picture let me just have a quick look before i say anything i'm just having a look say for example i want Yes, uh, you see here there is a copy function. All right, so it looks like when you are uploading your OER on Thursday to the um, database, there is an opportunity for you to upload as a hyperlink, All right? So not as a document, but as a hyperlink. So I think you can paste in that url as your hyperlink obviously you have to describe your kahoot test and then people would click on access and then it will take them to kahoot for them to have a look at the test i think all right so keep that in mind what else have we got uh do we find any material which are related to our zimbabwean curriculum when using oer oh very definitely um in module number four in tutorial number four, we'll show you where all these uh, materials that have already been uploaded for Zimbabwe is in tutorial number four. We look at a place called, oh, well, I'll give you the link now so you can go and have a look. Oh, it's Mopsy, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's it there. So let me give you this little, I'll put it in the chat and I'll put it in the, and I'll put it in the WhatsApp. All right, let me try that again. That's better. Um, so uh, this is where edu uh, Zimbabwean educators are putting OERs at the moment, things that have already been licensed at, uh, according to their Creative Commons uh, license. So you can go and have a look there. Um, so yeah, you don't wanna create something that has already been made. You want something that hasn't been made. So your contribution is uh, widening the the uh, the database so keep that in mind so, so the answer is uh yes you can find zimbabwean curriculum materials that are linked uh, that are oers and that are linked to the curriculum all right any other questions let's have a look have you got any hands up in the zoom no that looks good all right is everyone clear what needs to be done this evening so it's tutorial number two the train continues if for some reason you did not get to tutorial number one you have to do it first tutorial two doesn't make any sense unless you've done tutorial number one so if for some reason you're playing catch up then you must make sure that you do uh, tutorial number one first and then move on to tutorial number two all right that's enough of me blabbing on i don't see any more questions i've got nothing more to share with you just at the moment i'll see you tomorrow at 1400 hours again uh you'll be relieved to know there's no test tomorrow but there is one on thursday so don't get too complacent uh thursday's test will um, obviously be tutorials one two and three so uh we're keeping track of you um yep 
So Thursday, there's a test. And then Friday, you need to start um, telling us what you are submitting as your OER. So you remember, there was a assignment. We discussed the assignment briefly yesterday. So the assignment for, is for you to either adapt an existing OER or create a new one that is linked to the MOPSI curriculum and that has a Creative Commons license attached to it. All right. So um, by you should start thinking about that now even. What would you share with the world? Okay. What teaching and learning resource are you quite proud of that you could share with all the teachers in the world. All right, so that concludes today's session and um, I will see you tomorrow. You are free to go. Thank you very much.